Hi, Nate Brissell here with the Champion Series. Today we're covering A, which is attitude. Now, what if you could have a great attitude even when things are hard? That'd be pretty beneficial, especially in sports, because I'm sure a lot of times our attitude gets us into a bad state and then our performance doesn't do as well either. In fact, there's a cool study done um, in a book called Mindset. There's first the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. So when we face challenges, do you avoid them or do you embrace them? When you find obstacles, do you give up when the going gets tough or do you persist through? The thing is, as a result, when we have a fixed mindset, we plateau early. We don't reach our high success, but a growth mindset gets us into the right place, the right state. And so I really want us uh, to be able to focus on that because that affects your gameplay. In fact, did you realize that scripture talks about this exact idea that, that our mindset being in the right place and how our attitude is, it affects just our, our ability to continue to perform in the long run? So in James 1, it says this, I love it. It says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you face trials of various kinds. That, that's really interesting, it says when. It doesn't say if you face trials. He's talking to people who are being persecuted, people who are facing all sorts of hardships, but he's saying, hey, you gotta be ready. It's not if they're gonna come, they're gonna come. So the first step to overcoming trials with joy and, and, and with a good attitude is to know that you're going to have trials. You gotta be ready for it. I always like to illustrate this. Sometimes I'll, I'll bring a large male up and like while, we're, while I'm doing the talk, and uh, then I'll just jump on them, right? I'll jump on them and they'll stumble and, and fall. Like whenever you're not ready for something, it can knock you off balance. But if you're expecting hardship, expecting trials, the thing is you're already ready for it. The next part of the, the passage says this, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. The original word means to remain under pressure. It's kind of like uh, that, that large guy I would get up there. You know, like they built their strength over time. So then I will actually bring them up there and say, okay, the first step was knowing that the trials are coming. Do you think you're strong enough to be able to handle my weight? And they said, yeah. And so then I'll jump on them and they're completely okay. Because the thing is first they were mentally ready, but then they were also strong enough to handle it. So then the next part of the example, I'll bring up a, one of the smallest girls or one of the smallest kids. And what I'll do is I'll say, okay, you know that what's coming, right? You're all ready. I'm gonna jump on you, right? Okay, so here we go. One, two. <laughs> the thing is like, like you, you can't just be ready mentally. You gotta be strong enough for it. So the second thing is this, know that your trials make you stronger. Because right now, in your practice, each day your practice makes you stronger, it makes you better. Each day, a trial that you face, it's making you stronger for something that is ahead. The last thing is this. It says, let your steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. And so my last point is this, know that your trials have a purpose. Know that they have a purpose. If you sit there and you come to practice every single day, but you never are gonna have a game, I mean, what fun is that? right? Like, you know they have a purpose. You know your practices are going to pay off in the long haul because you know they have a plan and a purpose. You know that you have game day coming around the corner. So we have a growth mindset, sometimes naturally, because we're getting ready for game day. But the thing is, we don't always face our trials in life that way. So I'm going to challenge you in that. I want you to have a growth mindset. So with that, I have just two basic questions for you. The first one is this. It's actually geared towards your coaches. I want you to talk to your athletes and talk to them specifically about times that you've seen them have a fixed mindset and how that's affected their game. And then next, I want you to talk to them about times you've seen them have a growth mindset and how that affected them in practice or affected them in the game. And the next is for my athletes. I want you guys to go ahead and look at this and say, hmm, what are the trials I face? What are the hardships I face? And if I do face those, how do I overcome those with joy? I need to be expectant of them. Know they're gonna come. Know they make me stronger and know that they have 
a purpose.